I'd like to welcome you to Frederick's Art Studio, and you can take a look around. We'll be looking at a variety of things that you're going to see in here. But what I'd like to point out to you first is I wondered how this man, as an artist, made the equivalent of over $65,000 in 1900, painting things like zebras, giraffes, and monkeys, and what have you. But I want you to take a look over the wall, because Frederick gets to the Royal Academy of Art in Munich in 1893. He's 20 years old. Because he said, I'm here to study art. And they probably said, do you have any talent? And he probably said, I've got my dad's money. And they said, we don't care. We want to know if you have any talent. What do you want me to do? We want you to do some charcoal pencil sketches. And these are sketches done by Frederick as a 20-year-old before he studied art in Europe for seven years. And I've asked artists on my tours that he have talent. And they said, you must be kidding. Because according to every artist I've talked to, they said the hardest thing to do realistically are faces, and in particular eyes. And if you look at these pictures, you'll see that this man really, really, really did have talent. And look at that, the beard, the hair, the eyes. That's done by a 20-year-old before he studies art in Europe. So I really want to give the man credit for being a phenomenal artist. What we're going to look at, you see on the walls as we go, the things that he does later in life. And that's what artists go do. They go through different phases. He's done the lady riding a horse over here and riding the elephant over there playing the mandolin. And Evelyn, his wife number three, he's done a portrait of her over there and a couple of portraits from one of their trips back to Europe. He's done Evelyn up here with the parakeet on her arm, a cockatoo rather, on her arm. And what I love about this house is the sheer variety. And they have the monkeys. So the, he's done painting of monkeys. We used to have about 40 monkeys uh, living on the property. They would come up and we would feed them uh, during the day to give them their, they love their cashew nuts. And they, he's doing giraffes. He's done zebras. He's doing a couple of the troubadour singers from down to one of the uh, restaurants or bars, I understand, down on the intracoastal waterway. But everywhere you look, there's something different to look at. And in my mind, that's my theme for this house in one word, is eclectic. They see it, they like it, they buy it. You certainly have coral and you have statue of the Blessed Mother because that came from their apartment in Chicago. And I know everyone on the tour that I've ever talked to said they've heard of Starbucks. And I guess you've heard of Starbucks, haven't you? And if you look over here behind this painting on the easel, they've already collected Lady Neptune. So they've got Lady Neptune hanging on the, hanging on the wall over there. And I guess that's maybe where Starbucks came from. They collect wall plaques, they collect vases, they collect statues, they collect everything. And to me, that's what you're going to enjoy about visiting Bonnet House. There's the sheer variety is everywhere. It's just everywhere. And there's no theme to it other than we see it, we like it, we buy it, and we bring it down here. And thank you for coming.